Greetings, everybody. This is the first in a long series of Gomer Plays Redo. Yes, I spell it that fancy R-E-D-U-X way because I am pretentious and fancy and fuck you, I like the spelling. As you can see, we're doing Mega Man, as if that fancy title sequence couldn't tell you anything. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, the little backstory behind all of this, I made a video of it. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Um, but for now, I am going to start with Fireman. Because I've done these games before, but I'm doing this in a totally different... I, I don't want to say totally different way, but definitely in a way that I didn't do it beforehand. Oh, look, Screw Bombers. Hi! Uh, uh. Pick up a few tricks from Rome Mithril over the years, too. ha 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 ha! So yeah, normally I would start with Bomb Man, but this time I'm going to start with Fire Man. Um, the only rule I left for myself in terms of this particular game is that Guts Man has to be taken out before I hit a Left Man stage, because I don't want to do any backtracking. So, and of course a Left Man stage will have the Magnet Beam. Um, as I may have mentioned in the previous video, you know, the introductory video, all of these are basically one Robot Master per video, unless like... Well, I say Robot Master, one stage per video, unless the stages are, like, abysmally short. So, you know, it, it, it's going to depend. Um, probably, like, one good example of two stages being in one video would be the end of Mega Man 3. Um, the last two stages will most likely be in one video. Here, you're likely to get them all in one video. So, not all in one video, but, you know, each stage have their, uh, ow, their individual videos. That's what I'm trying to say. English good today with this rented tongue. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Ah, I do want to. I do want to take this time right here at the beginning to thank everybody that has supported me on Patreon so far for actually helping make this possible. Because uh, I think I mentioned. I want to say it was either in my during my Pokemon Quartz run or during my Portal Two run that the program that I was using beforehand was only a trial version and it lasted only so long before it just stopped doing the kind of recording I needed it to do. So it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of glad I was able to, you know, earn the money through Patreon and get fraps, which was needed before I was to do Portal 2 anyway. But, um, but the, but fraps is paying off really well. Of course, I did have to find a different NES emulator. <laughs> But that's a small price to pay, and hey, emulators are free. Whoa. Yeah. But in terms of Fireman stage itself, as you saw, fire. Yeah, this it's not much worth talking about. Just that one area you saw me just take a few bunch of hits there. You see my life bar there? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Let's use what I've learned from Rome Mithril in practice. What? Yeah, that's another good thing about doing these uh, redos, is I learned a whole bunch of different tactics from watching other videos like Rome Mithril's Perfect Run series, and there you go. Fireman is down. I know I didn't talk much about the stage this time, but uh, it's also an introductory video to supplement the other introductory video for the whole series, but that's okay. <laughs> So that's one down, five more to go. I was about to say six more to go. No, count the o don't count them all. Count only the ones with the greeny background. Oh, so that's that. <laughs> these videos obviously going to be slightly shorter for the most part because I'm pretty decent at these games. But anyway, um, yeah. So thanks you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm going to end up, I'll probably take on Cutman next, because I'm not going to go in a Robot Master weakness order, for the most part. So until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off. Yeah.